I'm Mark Frydenberg, one of the urologists at Australian Urology Associates, and I wanted to discuss with you Gleason grading of prostate cancer. Once a patient has been thought to have a level of suspicion of prostate cancer and has undergone a prostatic biopsy, the pathologist will have a look down the microscope at the tissues that he's examining and will describe a Gleason score or Gleason grade if a cancer is detected. What this signifies is the level of aggression of the underlying malignancy, which often plays a very big role in the decision-making regarding the treatments. With a Gleason score, the three common scores are a six, a seven, or an eight. If you have a Gleason score of six, it's considered an extremely low aggression cancer. And in many of these circumstances, no treatment will be recommended, but close surveillance will be uh, recommended instead. A Gleason 7 tumour is considered intermediate risk, and a Gleason 8 or above is considered a high-risk prostate cancer, which is aggressive. With the Gleason 7 tumours, what they try and do is give us some idea about whether that 7 is closer to a 6 or whether it's closer to an 8. And that is why we see the description, a Gleason 3 plus 4 equals 7, which is the one that's closer to a 6, or 4 plus 3 equals 7, which is closer to an 8. Again, a 3 plus 4 equals 7 will still often require treatment, but in some cases may be suitable for surveillance, whilst it would be very unlikely for a Gleason 4 plus 3 equals 7 or above to be offered surveillance, and in those circumstances, active treatment is likely due to the risk of the cancer spreading and potentially causing harm to you in the future.